بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم احنا we'll finish now the discussion about uh, this definite integral as Riemann sum and also as the net area. Now we'll try to do some uh, some exercises uh, from the old exams. Okay. You want us to find the integral of this from zero to eight. From zero to eight. So it will be the integral. Very clear. It will be the net area. Which is area one plus area three minus area two. Okay, let us do these areas area by area. Area one, just a rectangle. It's just a rectangle. This with two height one. It will be half two times one, and that is one. Is area one? Area two will be what? Mm. You can deal with it as a trapezoid, or I can deal with it as one triangle. One rectangle, one triangle. This triangle, it's one, one, so it will be half. Uh, let me do it here, A2. It's an empty one, half, one times one. This one is a, recta is a rectangle. This is two, this is one, plus two times one, plus one, one, half times one times one and the answer is three that will be a two a three which is this rectangle the height is two. the width is two and the height is also two so it will be half two times two which is two so this answer is one minus three uh no uh a three is two plus two minus three which is a two so the answer is zero which is this answer Okay, if this equal to this, and if you know these things, huh? you have the formula. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, this is the formula. It's like this one. So it would be one fourth. Will be one fourth by c square. That will be four by q. One four by c cubed equal four by cube. So c square equal what? Sixteen by square, which is four by all square. So c equal by over four. Not all answer or positive. It should should be positive. So that's four by. Find the value of f. This same idea, but now this is half rectangle. So that will be half by a square, where R is A. And that, and that is equal 10 by, so that means A square equal 20. So A square root of 20, which is four times five, that will be two square root of five, which is this. By the function, for the function used to graph is this, I want the integral from one to seven, from one to seven, not from zero. Huh? Be careful. From one, from one to seven. Okay. From one to seven. Okay. So here I have a rectangle, which is this rectangle. Height is two, this one. Hmm? So the area, the net area, this one will be, let me call it A1, A2, A3. It will be A1 plus a2 minus a3 okay so a1 is what half this is one times two which is one height is two that will be one this is a1 a2 will be what it's a minus a2 sorry plus a3 a2 is a circle, half circle it will be what? Uh, what is the radius? Uh, this is two. That will be one half 
pi r square, uh, 2 square, since r is 2. So that gives me 2 pi. A3, it's 1, 1. So we have 1 times 1, which is 3, which is 1 over 2. So that will be 1 plus 2, minus 2 by, sorry, minus 2 by plus half. And that will be 3 over 2 minus 2 by. Okay, this one. Yeah, this one I can split it into two parts. This one minus 3, 0, 1 dx plus this integral. Yeah, it's kind of part of the definite integral, but it's okay. Just we split it for the sum and the difference, just we split it. Okay, this one, we know it. It's one fourth of the circle, one fourth by three square, which is nine by over four. For this one, it's what? If you think about it as, as a graph, it's what? The value one, but between minus three and zero and the value one. Okay, so it's just a rectangle. So it's the width is three and the height is one. So that will be three times one plus this. So it will be three plus nine by over four, which is this one. Okay. Uh, now he gave me the expression and he wants me to find the indefinite integral backward. Huh? Instead of giving me the integral, you want the Riemann sum or the expression, this limit, uh, the Riemann sum. No, he gave me the Riemann sum and he wants the function which is not always we get uh, only one solution. Sometimes we have many solutions. OK, usually we deal with it this way. The most important is this one. OK, you notice I have 1 minus x squared, 1 minus x squared. So I, I have this xi. Mm. And it started from 0 mostly. Huh? Uh, okay, I, there is nothing starting from one, so I'm starting from zero. So it means xi is zero plus i over two n. Yeah, this is, will be my a. Okay, I get the a now. If this is i, then I have xi. What will be delta x? Delta x will be 1 over 2n. Hmm. I don't have 2n. I have 1 over n. But notice 1 over n, I can write it 2 over 2n. So this expression, I can rewrite it as limit n goes to infinity. 2 over n, 1 over 2n, 1 over 2n. 2 over square root 1 minus xi square, where this is x. Don't forget the summation. Well, this is, is my delta x. This one is delta x. So I have delta x, and this is f of xi. So my f of x is 2 over square root 1 minus x square. As I said, there is only one. There, you, I mean, maybe you have more than one solution. There's one thing. And delta x, I know it's b minus a over n. And it's equal 1 over 2n. So I have b minus a equal half. a is 0. So that means b equal half. So the integral will be from 0 to half, 2 over square root 1 minus x squared dx. OK. Yeah, if we do it 1 over, yeah. yeah I think this is the best to do. 
Visual XI will 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 make yeah um, will make me think how 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 to do with it. XI or delta X is the one to start with. Okay, I think this is easier. Very clear this one. Yeah, it is. This is XI. Oh, you notice I have square root of X, so I want this to be my XI. Okay. And yeah, it means this is a plus i delta x. So my delta x is 2 over n. So yeah, that's clear. That will be delta x. Now, delta x is b minus a over n. Notice here from there, a equal 1. And this is 2 over n. So b minus 1 equal 2, so b equal 3. So the integral from 1 to 3, f of x, which is what? Square root of x, square root of xi. Huh? So this one will be summation limit. Huh? I can rewrite it. Limit, n goes to infinity. Summation, i equal 1 to n. Delta x, f of xi. Well, what is f of x? Square root of x. That will be square root of x dx, which is this one. Yeah, I hope it's clear. Okay. Hmm. The value of this definite integral. Hmm. Usually I have from 0 to r, the square root of um, r squared minus x squared. They don't have r squared minus x squared. They have four x squared, and this is not r. That should be r. But if you notice, if I do some manipulation of the calculation, if I take four as a common factor, so I have four outside of the common factor, that will be nine over four minus x squared, dx. And that will be 2 outside, 0, 3 over 2, 9 over 4 minus x squared dx. Now it is in this form, this format, where I have the answer 1 over 4 by r squared. So now my r is 3 over 2, which is this one. And this is 3 over 2 squared. So that will give me 2 times. 1 over 4 by r square, which is 3 over 2 square. That would make it what? 9 by, this is 2, this is 1, 2 times 4, which is 8, which is this one. Hmm, how to do this? I can split it into two parts. Plus the other one. This is we know it half circle, which is half by r square, which is nine by over two. Uh, this is a minus sign. There's a minus sign between them. For this one, I'll do the graph. This is absolute value of x between minus three, huh? which is now three, to three. This is three. So I'm talking about the area under this curve, which is this area and this area. Okay, this is three and this is three. So I have a triangle here, half three times three. What about here? Same thing, I have half three times three. So that means nine over two plus nine over two, that give me nine. So my answer is 9 minus this, which is 9 minus 9 by over 2, which is this. In this question, I will do it later. Yeah, because the graph, uh, I think it's here somewhere, the same question. We'll see it later. 
Hmm. So we'll leave this one. The same question, we'll do it later. Uh, I did not close this one. OK, so this is the same as this. No need for this. OK. Now he gave me the limit. He won the integral. OK, you notice the integral. Cosine x squared and sometimes cosine 1 plus x squared. Mm. So I have both. Uh, let me do it the wrong way. I have x, y, i over n. Plus x, i to make it 1 plus x. Notice it's not, I cannot do it this way. Why? Because if I do it, it will be cosine 1 plus x all square. I don't have that. The square is not in the x. Okay, the square is only, I mean, um, everything is square. So for sure, I will put my xi 1 plus i over n. I hope you understand it. Now, so delta x is 1 over n. And my a is 1. And b minus a over n is 1 over n. So b minus 1 equal 1, so b equal 2. So I have the integral from 1 to 2. This is delta x. This is delta x. And this is xi. So it will be cosine x squared dx. That's my answer. This is equal to this. He gave you the integral. He wants to write it as a Riemann sum. Let us do the calculation. What is a? a is 2, b equal 5. This is my f of x. So it will be delta x, 5 minus 2 over n, which is 3 over n. <coughs> xi would be 2 plus 3i over n. f of xi will be what? 2 plus 3i over n squared minus 4. That will be what? 4 plus 6 times 2, 12i over n plus 9i squared over n squared minus 4. This cancel. So I have 12i over n plus 9i squared over n squared. This is f of xi. Okay. So the sum the sum, the rest is just the limit. Huh? The limit, I will leave it as a limit. Limit i equal the sum, i equal to n, this is the one sum. Will be what? With right endpoint, he said with the right endpoint. So everything is okay. F of x i, delta x, that will be summation, I equal one to n. This one, times 3 over n. And that will be what? Summation, not summation. Uh, 36 over n square. 36 over n square. Yeah, that's 6 over n, because this they can take it out. Summation of i plus 27 over n cubed. Summation of i square. Okay, and that will be 36 over n squared, n, n plus 1 over 2. Okay. Plus 27 over n cubed, n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 over 6. Okay. So this is will be 18. This is gone. n goes with the square. So I have, okay, and this is with the 3, it will be 9. This is 2. And gone with 1 square. So the result is 18 n plus 1 over n plus 9 n plus 1 to n plus 1 over 2 n square. Which is this one. With the limit now. This is the limit. I want to find the uh, the expression. Okay. Yeah, that will be a little bit complicated. 
Let us see what will happen in this one. Okay. So to start with, this one is what? This one is two cubed i square over n square. I cannot take it as an xi. Notice I don't have x square here, only x square. <coughs> yeah, or plus something. So for sure I need to take it plus. This is will be part of the function. And this one, I can deal with it as two, two square i square over n square. So that would be two, two i over n all square. I'm talking only about this. 8 i square over n square. Mm. So if I take this x i, then delta x will be 2 over n, which is this. So this is what I will do. I will take delta x to be 2 over n and x i 0 plus 2 i over n all um, 2 i plus 2 i over n. So f of x i. Yeah. This is this is the only thing. So now this function. Will be what? 2 times xi. So this is 2xi squared. Don't forget plus 1. Huh? So this sum will be summation 2 over n square root of 2xi square plus 1. Now everything is clear. Where I have the function, this is my function, would be square root 2x squared plus 1. And this delta x is b minus a over n. Notice a is 0. So it means b equal 2. So I have the integral from 0 to 2, 2x squared plus 1 dx. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the easiest way to, to deal with it. Maybe there are other ways to do it. Okay. The GFX equal this. The graph is given in the figure. He want G8 minus G3. What is G8? G8 is the integral from 0 to 8, f of t dt, minus the integral from 0 to 3, f of t dt. Which means what? I want the area under the curve from 0 to 8, or I want the net area from 0 to 8, Minus the root area from zero to three. So I want the area from zero, oops, from zero to eight. I want the net area minus the area from zero to three, which means what? I want only the area from three to five. I want the area, the net area from three to five. Because I want all of this net area minus this net area. OK, so it means I need only integral from 3 to 8. Yeah, you want 0 to 8 until 0, so I need 0 to 3 to 8 f of t dt. And that will be what? This area minus this area. So that, what is this area? This area will be, this is 2 and this is 2. And half two times two which is two what about this area 
This is one, two, three, four. The height is four and the width one, two, three. So this is half three times four, which is what six. So I have two minus six, which is minus four. So this answer. OK. Yeah. This is easy one. But R is by R equal by. So I have half by R square, which means half by by square. Yeah, that's that's the trick. By Q half by Q. OK. If it's integrable, now we want to deal with. Yeah. Notice everything is F of X. huh? Times yeah, if we need the six. Okay, so for sure this is will be my x i. That will be my x i. One plus six i over n. And this is my delta x. Very clear. That will be my delta x six over n, which will work with this. One plus six, one plus i delta x. Okay, and a equal one. So if this is b minus a over n. So it means B minus A equal six, and this is one, so B equals seven. So the integral from one to seven, F of X dx. So this is my, this is will be delta X. If you want to see it, that will be delta X, F of X I. But this is my X I. So everything is okay now. So this is the answer. Yeah, to find the value of f. This is equal ten by. Yeah, this will be half. I think we did it before. Half a square. That will be ten by. So a square equal twenty. So a equal two square root of five, which is this one. Yeah, the limit of the Riemann sum equal what? Yeah, I did something extra, but now now let us think about this one. So how to do it? Um, to make the calculation easier, what I will do, I will consider, yeah, I can't rewrite it. Let me, let me, let me try to explain it. This will be six over n times or one over n, you can make it one over n, six over one plus i over n to the power four. Uh, summation, don't forget the summation. Yeah, limit, n goes to infinity, summation, i equal one to n. Now, if I take this xi, uh, xi, i to n, this is will be i, 1 over n, which is i delta x. So this is my delta x. So my function, my function will be what? Will be 6, this will be xi. It will be 6, 1 plus x all to the power 4. That will be my function. Okay. So this one, um, and what is a? a is 0, huh? A zero. So it will be B and delta X one over N A equal zero. Delta X equal one over N equal B minus A over N. So B equal one. So that is the integral from zero to one, six over one plus X all to the power four the X. Yeah, he did an extra step. He, he solved the integral, which is it will be explained in the next section 5.4 which is easy to do. Just you think of this as six, one plus x to the power minus four dx. We know how to do the integration from, yeah, but this is now definite integral, which is in 5.4 will tell you uh, this is the same as the integral, but now we have it, we have limits of integration. That will be what six, one plus x to the power minus three of minus, minus three from zero to one. Just substitute, that will be minus two, one plus one, two, times one over eight minus minus two. 
So it will be 2 minus 1 over 4, which is 7 over 4. Yeah, this is the extra step. Now, now I think this is, should be the answer, but uh, this is an extra step which is will we'll do in 5.4. This one 5.4 things or 5.5. Yeah. Okay, I want to express the limit as a definite integral. Mm, I didn't have a sum. Yeah, we have the sum implicitly. If you notice, this is two, this is two times two, this is two times three, and this is square root of two, which is, you can think of square root of two as a square root two of n over n. So very clear, this is the limit, n goes to infinity, one over n, okay, summation, I equal one to n, square root, 2i over n. Okay. So root uh, 2i over n. Hmm. So now this is will be my xi. Okay. Yeah. You can think of it. Yeah, maybe I can take xi to be i over n. So it will be i times one over n, which is i delta x. So this is delta x. Okay, yeah. So, so it will be limit in goes to infinity. Delta x summation i equal one to n square root two x i, which is what. Yeah, what is A here? A will be zero. And they have delta X is one over N, B minus A over N, so B equal one. So that will be the integral from zero to one, square root to X dx. Yeah. And this integral is an easy one. Actually, this is, I can take square root two outside from zero to one, square root of X dx. I think we did it in one of the examples. Yeah, it will be 2 over 3. This integral will be 2 over 3. We'll do it in 5.4, but this is, yeah, since the exam includes all of this. But this is the main idea up to here, just what I need for this section. But you can do the integral easily. <coughs> okay. He want the estimate of this. With six subintervals using left endpoints. You want to use left endpoints. Now he did not give you the expression, he give you the graph. Okay, so I want L6. And this is what is delta X? It's four minus minus two over six. Huh? I want N N is six. This is N is six. This is A and this is B. Okay. So that will be what? Will be one. So I want to split it minus two. Here I need minus one, and this is zero. This is one. Where is two? Yeah, this is will be two. Yeah, this is will be three. And that will be four. And they want always the left endpoint. Huh? So I need the area approximately delta x, which is one times f of here between minus two and minus one. I will take the left endpoint, which is f of minus two. Between this and this, I take f of minus one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this one will be f of zero. Then f of one here between zero and one, I take the left one. Between one and two, I take f of one. Between two and three, I'll take f of two. Between three and four, I'll take f of three. One, two, three, six, yeah. That will be one times f of minus two. Notice I take two, um, half, half. Huh? So this is half, half, half. 
that will be minus 1.5. This is the point, minus 1.5. F of minus 1. No, f of minus 2 is 0. Hmm? Sorry, f of minus 2 is 0. f of minus 1 is minus 1.5. f of 0 is 0. Huh? f of 0 is 0. f of 1, 1, 2, 3, plus 1.5. f of 2, 0.5. Okay, f of 3, minus 1. So this is cancelled. 1 half minus 1, it will be minus half. That's the answer. Yeah, this is the one which I told you. Um, if you notice it here, yeah, actually I should I should delete it. Where is it? Yeah, this one. Um, but the, the, there is no graph in this one, but there is a graph in the other one. Yeah. Now, yeah, I want f of x. Notice, what is f at 0? It's the integral from 2 to 0, f of t dt, which means this is the area with a negative sign. Yeah. In the properties, we will we'll talk about integral from a to b, f of x dx, is the same as minus integral b to a f of x dx. Yeah, so this is will be minus integral from 0 to 2 f of 3 dt. OK, and this is the area between 0 and 2. This is the area between 0 and 2. So this area is a negative value. What is it? I don't know. Who cares? Now check f at 1. It will be the integral from 2 to 1, f of t dt. And that will be negative 1 to 2, f of t dt. Oh, now it is not from 0 to 2, it's from 1 to 2. So I'm talking about this area, which is still negative. Now it comes f at 2. I think that question should be in the properties of different integral. I will do it again there. From zero, it will be from two to two, f of t dt, which is zero. That will explain it in, since there is no no area. Now f at three, it will be integral from two to three, f of t dt. That will be this one, which is a negative one. F at four will be the integral from two to four, f of t dt, which is still negative because it will be this part, this which is negative. So that means what? This is negative, this is negative, this is negative, so this is zero. So this is, will be the largest one. And he, this is what he's looking for. And this is, will be the largest one, f of two, since the rest are negative. It needs these properties of different integral. I need this. Yeah, then also I need this. Okay. Now I need to rewrite this as a definite integral. Okay. Yeah, well, it seems you know, xi is 3i over n. Since this will be i 3 over n. So this is my, my delta x. So that will be limit n goes to infinity. Delta x summation i equal 1 to n of xi cubed minus 6xi. So very clear, what is my function? My function is x cubed minus 6x. And uh, this 3 over n, a equals 0. Since I start the a equals 0, xi is 0 plus this. So this 3n equals b minus a over n, so b equals 3. So this integral, it will be integral from 0 to 3, x cubed minus 6x dx. By the way, we did it before, and where the answer was using this Riemann sum. But actually, in 5.4, we'll do it easier than that. Yeah, we did it, I think, so yeah, we did it, and we get this, minus 27 over 4. Um, or you can do it, yeah, using 5.4, it would be very easy. 
just to integrate it easily. So the answer is minus 27 over 4. You combine 20, 20 days, OK. This one, now I need to find the integral using the, using the areas. Huh? So this is will be integral from 0 to 5, x dx, minus integral 0 to 5, square root 25 minus x squared dx. This is, we know it. This is one fourth of the circle, 1 over 4 by 5 square, where r is 5. Now what about this one? This one, it is what? It is x from 0 to 5. So this is 5 and this is 5. So it's a, it's a triangle half. This is 5. This is 5. 5 times 5. So this one will be what? Will be 25 over 2 minus or minus, yeah? Minus 25 over 4 by. Over 25 by over 4. What is this? By over 4. I can rewrite it as over 4. That will be 50 minus 25 by, which is this one. OK. Uh, let me check. Do you have? Yeah, I think still we can do more. We can do more problems. OK. Now this is, he want this to be written as a Riemann sum, which is easy. That will be my f of x. That's a, that's b. The other way, usually it's, it's not easy to do. Um, so delta x, b minus a over n, it will be 2 over n. And <clears throat> xi will be 1 plus 2i over n. So my, the limit in goes to infinity, summation I equal 1 to n of what? Of square root 4 plus xi square, which is 1 plus 2i over n square, multiplied by delta x, which is 2 over x. Yeah, let me write the limit here. Summation I equal 1 to n f of x i times delta x and this is the calculation which is this one yeah i want the area between minus four until here until five yeah i want it until five where this is and five this is the area which i'm looking for okay So that I'm looking from here. So I need this area. I need this area. And I need this area. I need this area. Yeah. A1 very clear. A1 I have this is 2 and this is 1 half 1. Yeah, this is one and this is two. One times two, which is one. By the way, the net area, this one will be A3 minus A1 minus A2. That will be the answer. Okay. So I have A1, I'll take the negative things about it. A2, this is two. So this is the radius, radius is two. A2 will be, and this is half circle half by two square. So I have two by A2. Uh, now it comes to A3. A3, you can do it in two ways. You can think of it as complete rectangle, complete uh, triangle minus this triangle. It's one way to think of it. Or you can think of it, I want to do this, this part. So this part, yeah, you make it complicated. Mm, yeah, you can make it this one and make this triangle and this is rectangle and this is triangle. Um, yeah, you can do this or as I said, A3 will be this triangle minus this one. 
This one is what? This one will be one times one, half times one times one. The complete one, not A3, huh? A3 will be the big one minus the small one. A3 will be what? This is one, two, three, four. This is four times two, half, four. The height is two, huh? the height is two. That will be four. So this is half. So A3 will be four minus half, which is seven over two. So the net area, the integral, huh? which is the integral, minus four to five, f of x dx will be 7 over 2, which is a3, huh? minus a1, minus a2. So it will be 5 over 2 minus 2 by, which is this one. Okay. Now I write this as a Riemann sum, which is very easy to do. That will be what? From 0 to 2, huh? That will be from zero to two. I give you everything. And this is my f of x. Huh? This is my f of x square root four minus x squared. So this is delta x i dx. And they know how to do this. This is one fourth by r square. R r is two square. So that give me by. And this is the answer. They combine two things in one. The graph of this is this one. Now, if you notice the integral minus four to six, f of x dx plus integral five over five. Now it's the number five over five dx. Okay. To do this one, just yes, I will do the net area, which is this one up to six, huh? complete. Huh? So this is I need a one. This is a two. This is a three, the complete one. A three is what half. 4 to 2, we just did, huh? that will be 4. This one, uh, half by r square, which is 2, so it will be 2 by. This one is what? This is 2, this is 1, so half 2 times 1, which is 1. So this integral will be a3, minus a1 minus a2 and that will be what 4 minus 1 minus 2 by which is 3 minus 2 by okay now what about this integral this is just a bad and in, in, integer i mean uh, constant huh so i have pi over 5 between minus 4 I uh, have pi over 5 between minus 4 to 6. So in this rectangle, this the length is 10. So the area will be 10 times pi over 5. Huh? This is 4 plus 6. This is 10. So it will be 2 pi. So the answer of this will be what? The answer of everything here. This area, give me this. Huh? That will be 3 minus 2 by plus 2 by, and that will be 3, which is this. Yeah, this one we did, huh? So this is, yeah, I just did, which is 3 minus 2 by. So this is the answer. The Riemann sum, yeah. The Riemann sum of this function, yeah. Notice he put, the values or the the partition, huh? He's over the, where this is x zero, which is the partition, huh? So he split zero to eight, not in the, in in the same width, in different width, huh? I have x zero equal zero, x one one, x two three, x three, x three. X3 is 7 and X4 is 8. So I have different width. I have delta X1, this is 1. Delta X2, this is 2. Delta X3, this is 4. Delta X4, this is 1. 
and they have different seeds. So the Riemann sum, I need four rectangles. Okay. See, I is the point in the I sub internal. Okay. So it will be f of x1 times delta x1 plus f of x2, f of c1, he called it c1 here, c1, then f of c2, hmm? delta x2, plus f of c3, delta x3, plus f of c4, delta x4. What is f of c1? f of 1, plug it here, it will be 1 plus 3, 4. Delta x1 is 1. f of c2, c2 is 2, plug it here, 4 plus 10. Delta x2 is 2. f of c3, 5, 5 squared, 25, plus 15, 40, times 4. f of c4, 8. 8 squared is what? 8 squared, 64. 64 plus 24, plus 88, huh? 64 plus 24, that will be 88 times 1. Do the calculation, now it's 4 plus 20 plus 160 plus 88. It's 92 plus 180, would be what, 272, which is this one. If the graph of f is the one shown below, then find from 0 to 6, huh? don't forget, from 0 until here. What would be the net area? The net area. We have this area and this area and this area. Okay. For A1, I can do it this way. I can visit it. One, one. Where this one is what? This is two. This is one. It will be two times half times one. And this one, it's two times one. Two times one. So A1 will be one plus two, which is three. This is A1. Okay. When it comes to A2, you can do it this way. This is triangle. What is this triangle? This is one, this is two. Two, one times, it's half. It's half. There is a half times one times two. times two times one half times one times two. Hmm? This is what this is height. No difference. Huh? That will be one. This one is a rectangle. Two, two, two times two, which is four. So a two will be yeah four plus one, which is five. Now it comes to a three. This one a three. A three will be what? This is two, one, huh? two, half times one times two, and that will be one. So the net area, the integral from zero six, it will be A1 plus A2 minus A3. That will be three plus five minus one, which is seven, which is this one. Okay. Yeah, I think we did something similar. This is 20. 20, which is 2 square root of 5 square. So this is my R. Okay, so that will be half of it, half, one fourth of it. One fourth by R square, which is one fourth 20 pi, which gives me 5 pi, which is this. Mm. Now we need to do this integral. Yeah. I don't want to exceed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me do this too, and then 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 I will stop. Okay. Okay, now integral from two to 10. This will be the integral. Actually, it needs properties of the, of the triangles, the definite integral. 
plus why I'm using these three, three and nine and ten, because every time I have a different function. Yeah, it has the properties of the definite integral. Now, how to do this? Integral from two to three f of x dx. This is the function two to three minus one dx. How to do this integral? Well, as I have the function between two to three, and it's only this one. So I have this rectangle, which is one times one. So that will be one times one, which is one. Okay. Now it comes three to nine. F of x dx. That will be three to nine. X minus four dx. Okay. And that will be what? Yeah. If you think about x minus four, you can do it too, this way. Either split the integral, or or you can do it at once. At three, yeah, it will make it very complicated yeah, because it will be negative positive. So let me do it by split the integral. Nine dx minus four integral three to nine dx. X easy to do. That will be x. I want it from three to nine. I want this only. Uh, which is this is three huh? and this is nine. Huh? Oops. So I want this rectangle, this this triangle. This rectangle, it will be six by three. So it will be half six times three, which is what nine. Okay. This triangle, this is three, and this is nine. So I have six by six times half. Well, what is half here? Yeah. That will be what? This is not a triangle, this is a rectangle. This is six times three. That will be six times three, which is 18. This one will be this one three, and this one six, and this one six. So it will be half six times six, which is 18 also. So all of this is 36. So this is 36. This one, you have four huh? at four from three to nine which is six times four, which is six times four, okay? Which is 24. A rectangle, huh? 24, that will give me 12, okay? Now, the five, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is there is a minus sign. Sorry, there is a minus sign outside. This is minus one. Yeah, this is, should be minus the integral. It will be minus one. OK, now the five. So this is this one. I want now the last one. From nine to ten. F of X dx which is integral from 9 to 10 of 5 dx. So it's 5, but from 9 to 10. I need only this rectangle, which is 5 times 1. So the answer is 5. So this area will be, this one is a minus 1, plus 12, plus 5. That gives me 16, which is this one. OK. Now I need to rewrite this as, uh, as an integral. I think the starting point is this one. Always I have e to the power x, e to the power x, e to the power x. It means this is my xi. So xi is 1 plus i over n. Okay. And I notice another thing. I don't have a product here, but you notice and I can take 
1 over n as a common factor, the remaining will be what? 1 plus i over n, which is xi. This is xi, huh? Again, plus e 1 plus i over n. So this is, I can rewrite it, limit in goes to infinity, summation i equal 1 to n, 1 over n, that will be xi plus e xi. Okay, now it's clear this is my function. And a is 1. A is 1. Okay. And delta x will be b minus a over n. It's 1 over n. That will be my delta x. So I have 2 minus 1 equal b minus 1 is equal to 1. So b equal 2. So the integral <coughs> 1 to 2, and this is my f, f of x. Okay. Yeah, the remaining is just. Okay, let me stop here. I don't want to have a long. Um, I think we, we did many, many good, uh, good problems. Stop the recording. Thank you.